Well, we've been in the key of A, we've been in the key of E. Let's go to the key of C. One of the guitar players that influenced me greatly when I was starting was Big Bill Brunzi. And I heard him do a tune, a pop standard called The Glory of Love, but he made it into a, a blues tune in his own way. And I've sort of rearranged it, playing it in the key of C as Big Bill did, but trying to add a little bit of Gary Davis, as well as a little bit of Blind Blake. So here's my version of The Glory of Love. So that's a fun tune to play in the key of C. We're basically in the first positions. I heard a joke with Martin Taylor in concert, and he was saying how oh, these chords, these first position chords in Nashville, they say that's where you make your money from. I bet it's true down in Nashville. We start off. So there's no alternating bass there. to me, to my ears, like Gary Davis, then into a G7th. Now here, you could, if you look at my right hand, I'm doing an alternating bass, but you could go at a stumble, a blind Blake stumble bass is what I call it. And then you go another stumble bass as you enter into the C chord. stumble again as you get into the F chord. So you can do it or not do it. The stumbles are something extra. As you're playing it, to give texture variation, you can put those in. That's just straight, stumble. That's the same type of phrase as we began with. it with sort of actually introduction to St. Louis Tickle. If you don't know that, it's just going to have this phrase going down in the bass. From the top, the Gary Davis part. Stumble into the C, into the F. That's interesting here, where you're playing the G, but you're also getting that C note. Now, I'm not a singer, nor do I know the lyrics to this, but in the back of my mind, I remember they go a little bit. Gotta give a little, take a little. That's the glory of, that's the story of love. And you're just going to repeat that again. 
So let's split the screen and just do that section. Then we're going to have the bridge, which I'll show you right after the split screen. So let's try it. Okay, and feeling comfortable with that, now we get into the bridge. As long as there's the two of us. And what are we doing? We go into an F chord. And what I do is play the F chord, everything off. Check your tablet here. I'm playing my first, third, and sixth string. Everything off. Change to this fingering. I have my index finger on the second fret of the fourth string and check out my ring and pinky on the third frets of the first and third string. Going up, this is sort of a working around an F chord. And back to the F, so all together. Long. Into the C, stumble, stumble again, and repeat that. Here, so we have we're basically playing a G chord here. We have our thumb on the third fret of the sixth string, index on the third fret of the first. It's actually around the C here, and ending in the G. And a lot of times at that point, I'll go all the way up here to the what is that, the 15th fret, and just tickle it. And bring it back. And then you're into the verse. So all together. Get back into the F, open. Gotta give a little. And you're off and running. Let's split the screen and let's try that F section and then we'll have the whole glory of love. <laughs> 